What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeremy with Tennessee Tactical One. I want to talk to you today about one of my favorite rifles. Remington Corporation quickly called on DuPont to help them in this situation. In layman's terms, DuPont was given specs that called for a material that could be formed into any shape but have the high impact strength. This was going to be a risky move by the Remington Company. Back in those days, man, people just basically lacked the knowledge about composites. You know, today we have all the plastic weapons, but back then, people were kind of spooked of this philosophy. These rifles came in several different colors and styles. The Mohawk Brown, you had the Seneca Green the Apache Black, and the Black Diamond. What you see here today is my Apache Black. Mine was built in June of 1972. It took me a long time to research all that, but yeah, that's that, that was tough. Anyway, Remington ended up selling about a million and 50,000 of these rifles between 1959 and 1989, making it a success. Remington themselves tested this rifle in brutality. All weather climates, the Nylon 66 proved to be absolutely 100% in Arctic and hot climates. As far as the specs go, right from the jump, great place for your safety. On the front, you got an adjustable leaf sight, real simple. Up front, a fixed blade sight. As far as its weight goes, fully loaded with 14 rounds, coming in at an ounce or two over four pounds. Its caliber, of course, is the famous 22 long rifle. Front to back, comes in at about 38 and a half inches. The weapon's feed system, is a 14 round tubular mag. So hey everybody, I hope you liked the introduction to the classic Nylon 66 22 caliber rifles. Alright, I'm going to get out of here. As always, be safe, be prepared, and God bless you.